Finally, another GunBot settings video. I know GunBot settings have been extremely popular for you guys, and you guys are always telling me you want to learn new ways or new things in terms of settings on GunBot. So today I thought would be a perfect time to teach you guys a little bit about some of the strategies that I recommend you guys use in a downtrending market. Now, before I get into this video, if you guys are interested in purchasing GunBot, you can use my link down in the description down below. Uh, also, this is not financial advice, so I'm not responsible for any losses that you do make if you do end up trying some of these strategies. Uh, these are just base points for you guys to learn off of, and then you guys can really make your own decisions about how you're going to implement this into your own bot. Anyways, guys, let's get right into the video. So first off, one thing I always point out and one thing I highly recommend you guys get if you have GunBot are Alanster's scripts. They are completely free. All you need to do is message Alanster on Telegram or TradingView and then he will grant you access to his scripts which allow you to visualize the trades that GumBot makes on TradingView along with get back testing data. So this is super helpful for me. I always use it when making settings. So today I just wanted to specifically talk about step gain settings as I've found them to be pretty good in this downtrending market. So as you can see here, I'm using his step gain script in order to backtest step gain on GunBot. So all you do is you enter the exact same settings on GunBot and you enter them in here and then you can backtest them. So the main thing that you really want to look for on step gain, the main setting that makes the most difference is actually the EMA settings. So as you guys can see here, I had some pretty crazy EMA settings. Honestly, it just works with whatever whatever you feel the most comfortable with. Personally, I found 50 and 21 to work the best for me, um, but I would highly recommend you play around with those values. Those are the ones that make the biggest difference in terms of longer term trades, shorter term trades. Uh, when it buys and sells, that's really the most important thing for step gain. Uh, so personally, I was testing 50 and 21. And so that was able to get me these really good results where I was scalping on these small dips uh, on coins that were even downtrending. So here we can see EOS, as you can see a pretty heavy downtrend. Uh, even whenever it got these dips, you always see the buy and sell uh, right as it dips. As you can see here, you know, it gets the bottoms almost perfectly and this is without trailing. So you can even apply trailing to this if you want to get even better buy and sells. This is pure step gain. So you can see uh, really, really great trades there. And something else that I've really been trying to keep myself to is using stop loss. I think uh, double up is extremely risky in these types of markets. Uh, you can also use reversal trading. I highly recommend that, either reversal trading or stop loss. Uh, but personally, in this example, since they don't have reversal trading, I was using stop loss. So as you can see here, uh, if it ever does make a bad buy, so for example, a bot right here, uh, and then you see the stop loss sell right there. But with the 80% profitability of these settings, you can see they still do quite well. Uh, they buy most of these dips, they get some decent sells. And so that is a great way to make profit off of these downtrending markets. Now, I will leave this here if you guys would like to look at some of these settings. Uh, personally, I only really changed the sell level two a little bit so you would get the most profit. So that's something you guys can do. Once you find a good EMA uh, setting that you want to use, all you really need to change is the buy level two and the sell level two until you see this profit factor get as high as possible. So what you guys want to try to do is you want to try to keep the profit factor as high as possible while maintaining a decent amount of trades. So as you can see here on this chart, you know, you're getting a lot of trades here while maintaining 80% profitability. So 80% of these buys are profitable and you're doubling what you'd normally get if you just held the coin through this market. So that's really important. You want to make sure that you maximize these values down here uh, while maintaining a good amount of trades uh, with the settings and changing around the buy levels as those can be really important. So you can copy these down if you want and test them on your bot. However, I do not, you know, I do not promise any amazing buys and sells with this. I highly recommend you change them a little bit to get some variations so you aren't trading with other people, uh, but that's a good baseline to look at. Uh, and then one other one I just wanted to look at was ADA. So this is an even heavier downtrend as you can see, uh, but we're still profitable surprisingly uh, with once again, 81% profitability, 
for uh, profit factor with 32 closed trades. So as you can see, once again, step gain does amazing at buying these dips. That's why I was specifically choosing it for these downtrending markets. Um, and you really, really get almost exactly the bottoms on these uh, trades here. So I highly recommend you check that out. Once again, I will leave the settings up here. Uh, I did leave the same EMAs for this, but as you can see, if you do compare the previous ones with these, I did change the second buy level as I find that to be the most important setting with step gain in terms of when it's going to buy and when it's going to sell once you find a good EMA level. So. Now that I have gone over that, some good settings for ADA and EOS with step gain, even in these downtrending markets. Now I wanted to talk about one more thing on GunBot, as I thought this is something that's greatly underused on GunBot. And sometimes whenever people come to me, they say, you know, I want to use multiple instances of GunBot. But a lot of the time they can really just use one instance because they didn't even know this uh, feature existed. So something on GunBot that a lot of the time is overlooked is whenever you add a pair to GunBot, you see this little field on the side that says override. Now, a lot of people overlook that. They don't really know what it does, but override actually allows you to put specific settings for that pair. So if, as you guys can see here, I'm running step gain on both ADA and EOS, but as you can see, as these settings show on trading view, I don't want to use the same settings for ADA and EOS, but I'll, but I want to use step gain on both of those. So what I could do is I could go to the strategies page. I could input all of the settings that I'd like. So I could choose, for example, EOS. I could input all of these settings. And then as you can see, the only variation be between these settings and my ADA settings are the buy levels and sell levels. So then all I would have to do is I would go over to the strategies here. I would navigate to step gain, and then I would find the setting that I want to change. So for example, here, buy level two, I could copy that go back to setups. And then what you could do is instead of, you know, using a different strategy for ADA, even though I want to use the same strategy that I'm using for EOS, all I could do is click on override right here. You click this little arrow, then you click this and you click append. Then you see these two things. So you have field and value. So you would paste in whatever setting you want to change. So for example, by level two, I would then just change the value to two. And once you click create, once you click save, et cetera, then instead of having the buy level of 1.9 for EOS, I would have the buy level of two. And so that's really cool because you can customize the individual settings. And it's not only buy levels that you can do this for, you can also do this for trading limit, uh, any other setting, reversal trading, stop loss, anything. I highly recommend you guys look at this uh, override feature as it's super, super helpful, especially whenever you're using something like these scripts on TradingView to optimize your pairs. And then you want to have different settings for each pair. You always need to use the override settings. So that's something important to use. And if you guys do get an error, if you do see something like this, so you accidentally add uh, you know, an extra field or something, and you see all these exclamation marks, you might get a little scared. All you need to do is you just need to remove them. So just like that, you can remove them as long as it says zero. If there are no settings in there, make sure it says zero and then you're completely fine. So that's how you use the append setting on GunBot to have individual settings for individual pairs that don't affect the other pairs. And that those are some pointers for step gain settings along with being profitable on a downtrending market. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to use my link if you guys are interested in GunBot and see you guys in the next video.